one of the best aspects of Unmatched is being able to take characters from a bunch of different legends and literature works and um, characters from various different licensed things, be able to put them together and use them all in the same game. So it's always interesting to see what other types of sets and characters are going to be coming. So let me go ahead and go over what we know about some of the upcoming sets. Now first we'll go ahead and start with some of the licensed sets and one of these is going to be something that had been licensed before that they've got some more coming out for that we knew were going to be coming and that is Jurassic Park. Right now the um, only Jurassic Park set that we had was Engine vs. Raptors which featured uh, Robert Muldoon and um, a set of three Raptors. There are going to be some others coming. The first that we're going to see is Dr. Ellie Sadler versus the T-Rex. Um, I don't know exactly what they're going to do with um, Dr. Sadler to make her a fighter in there. Um, you know, this was Laura Dern's character from the original film. She definitely was able to, you know, handle herself and get out of the situation that she was, but she wasn't really a fighter, and I suspect that some of that is probably what's going to be integrated into her character, because, you know, the theming and the abilities and decks that all the characters have are always very much worked around um, what they are able to do and they're able to be able to be turned into fighters in the context of who they are. Now the T-Rex is going to be the first large character. We know that it's going to be taking up two spaces and that there will be some rules involved with it. Um, they said that you know being big is also a disadvantage and that's one thing that they've always been very good at with Unmatched is that whenever they introduce a character that has some new really quirky mechanic that there's usually some sort of downside um, involved with them having that um, unique thing. Another set, or wasn't originally a set um, that they had talked about, was going to be um, Dr. Alan Grant, or Sam Neill's character from the original film. Now, after the Bruce Lee box, they said that they weren't going to be doing any individual characters anymore, that everything that they released would be a playable game and it wouldn't be um, something that you would have to have um, another set to be able to use um, which was one of the downsides of Bruce Lee was that you couldn't buy him and just use him on his own and so uh, for a while that kind of sounded like that Dr. Grant wasn't going to be happening and now it sounds like he is going to be but he may be getting paired with somebody or something we're not really sure who or what that would be because there's not really other dinosaurs from the original film that would thematically fit with him um, so I don't know what's going to be happening there now another licensed property that they were going to be getting that they were very excited about were going to be some Marvel characters now the first one that will be coming out will be something that will be um, seemingly breaking um, what they had said about the um, Alan Grant Jurassic Park single character thing and that would be Deadpool. They are going to be releasing Deadpool as a single character. And really, I think this is the only way that you could do Deadpool. Because they have kept the essence of Deadpool in there with all this. The um, idea behind the set looks like it's going to be that um, Deadpool got mad that Restoration Games didn't make a set for him. So he made his own and sent it to them. This is going to involve a bunch of cards that Deadpool has taken from other characters and turned into his and cards made from other random things that he had lying around. It's going to involve a bunch of the fourth wall breaking and meta stuff that Deadpool always does. Some of the ones that we've been able to see so far have things like if there's food on the table, this card is a five. If you make an explosion sound when you put this card down, you can boost it by two. Crazy things like that. We've got a good look at Deadpool's character card where we see he's going to be a solo fighter and not have a sidekick. He's going to have a health of 10, 
which seems really, really low until you take into account that his special ability is that every time he attacks, he is able to heal by one. The other special ability that Deadpool has is that if your opponent's actual name is Logan, it is plus five on all attacks. So you can see that Deadpool is just going to be absolutely crazy and insane as he should be. We'll see how he will fit in with um, everything else that we've had with Unmatched. One thing worth pointing out with Deadpool is that it is very well known that the Deadpool comics and especially the Deadpool films have some very um, off-color humor. Um, it is R-rated not just because of violence, but because of a lot of the humor that is in there. And people weren't really sure what we were going to be seeing in the Deadpool deck. It looks like the um, Deadpool um, character here for Unmatched is going to remain family friendly. And they are not really going to be pushing that envelope with him. Um, so that is... Um, Something for, um, you know, parents or people who may be concerned about that sort of thing, that that doesn't look like that that is going to be an issue. There are going to be some other sets coming. These are going to be four three packs, and the three packs are interesting. Um, I guess that lets them put out four sets instead of three um, with what would happen if they were to make them four player sets. They are going to come with complete four player maps. They have developed some new three-player rules that they have um, already posted that you can see how that works. Four sets are all going to have some sort of theme that connects them. Some of them um, are going to be more um, closely linked um, than others. One set is going to be Redemption Row, which is Luke Cage, Ghost Rider, and Moon Knight. Hell's Kitchen will have Daredevil, Elektra, and Bullseye. Interestingly, we've seen um, what the um, front of the box is going to look like for this one. And it actually has less cards in the deck than you would anticipate. The next sets that we have will be Teen Spirit, which will be Ms. Marvel, Cloak and Dagger, and Squirrel Girl. Um, Squirrel Girl kind of being a more... Um, obscure character that's come into popularity recently for king and country with black widow black panther and winter soldier this is probably going to be the most um the set with the most prominent characters there's these um are three that have been featured heavily in the uh, marvel films and the mcu and so now we're going to go into the unlicensed stuff and we don't know a whole lot here We've got a few characters that we know. We have some that they have hinted at. Since the original set was Battle of Legends Volume 1, this implied that they were, in fact, wanting to do a Volume 2 at some point. And yes, there will be a Battle of Legends Volume 2. And they have, in fact, given us a look at one character in there. And this character is going to be Yananga. And if you haven't ever heard of her, well... You are not alone. There's a lot of us that had not ever heard of her. This is going to be a um, legend of a um, African warrior princess. We've gotten a look at a few of her cards. The biggest thing that we can infer from them is that it looks like she's going to have multiple sidekicks called archers, which I would imagine would be ranged. Uh, Yananga herself is often... Um, depicted as an archer so it would seem very likely that she would be ranged as well although that's not absolutely confirmed one place where they got a bunch of characters that they liked was with a fan contest that was done um, earlier in this year where a bunch of um, people were able to send decks to them and they had quite a bit more fan decks and ideas for characters sent to them than what they had anticipated. They ended up picking four characters out on this. Now we know that two of these four are going to come out as a set. Um, now it's going to be happening in like 2022, but we do know who they are, and that is going to be Houdini and the Genie. 
So these will be two that will be paired up because there's kind of like this magical theme between the two of them. We know two other characters that were selected were William Shakespeare and Rosie the Riveter. These two aren't going to come out as a set themselves, but they will be appearing in other sets. Additionally, there were eight other characters that were um, picked by them as runners-up that they really liked. We don't know who any of these are, but we know that they are going to be... Um, spread across other sets that will be coming. Now, we've been able to get a little bit more information about things just from um, social media posts um, on um, Twitter, Reddit, and Discord. Um, they've done, some of the guys at Restoration the Mondo have done uh, appearances on YouTube. And we've been able to get a little bit more information based off of that. They did mention, um, you know, characters that they were looking at for Battle of Legends 3, which that seems to imply that they pretty much already have Battle of Legends 2 figured out, um, and that they, or they at least have the characters for Battle of Legends 2 figured out. They said that they were um, consulting various different experts um, to get a lot of these characters done right and to make sure that they have them portrayed properly. Two cultures that have been specifically mentioned as something that they were looking at. Um, one was looking at um, an Eastern Asian character. Um, they were pointing out that the only Asian characters right now would be Sinbad and Bruce Lee, um, Bruce Lee being a licensed character. And so they had someone that they were looking at in that. They also, um, and he said he was trying to be very vague with this one, that there was someone with a uh, Hispanic or Latino background that would be coming in here. And once again, we don't know who that is, but that's just a little, um, little idea of what that character will be. And so we'll see that there will be a bunch of sets coming forward. They're going to have more four-player sets and probably more of these two-player ones that they do. Um, so we're going to see the character set keep expanding and growing, which is going to be great for all of the fans of Unmatched. So what characters do you think will be showing up in future sets? And what characters would you like to see? You can leave any ideas you have there in the comments. You can also take a look at the videos that I have on all of the current characters so you can see how their deck works and how they play so that you can learn more about all of these guys.